The last sentence of 2 Kings 24 tells the whole story. Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. Babylon the Great was on the precipice of world domination. In verse 1, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon invaded Judah. Judah paid tribute to Babylon for three years before falling. Nebuchadnezzar also captured the entire area that was formerly Egypt, forcing their king into seclusion. Then the king of Babylon set his sights on Israel and the city of Jerusalem. The city was besieged and Jerusalem was taken, but the worst was yet to come. Verse 13 tells us, as the Lord had said beforehand, Nebuchadnezzar carried away all the treasures from the Lord's temple and the royal palace. He stripped away all the gold objects that King Solomon of Israel had placed in the temple. King Nebuchadnezzar took all of Jerusalem captive, including all the commanders and the best of the soldiers, craftsmen, and artisans, 10,000 in all. Only the poorest people were left in the land. Why, you may ask, would God permit these things to happen to his own special people? Where was God when his kids needed him most? The answer may shock you. Verse 20 tells us these things happened because of the Lord's anger against the people of Jerusalem and Judah until he finally banished them from his presence and sent them into exile. And here's what I want you to hear. Sin angers God, so much so that he let his own special people be overtaken and sent into captivity for a season. But God never gives up on his people. Yes, sin angers the Lord, but his love always finds a way to forgive those that belong to him. All that's required of us is repentance. 1 John 1, 9 says, if we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So what is it that's hindering my relationship, your relationship with the Lord today? Let's confess it before God, realign ourselves with the truth and enjoy his faithfulness to forgive and the restoration and the joy that comes with it.